I'm going to show you how to do some math with our trains today. But I first want to show you my setup. Um, today I'm working on the floor and I just made out of a laundry basket and a sheet, a small little table. Sometimes the big table is too big for our kiddos. Here, I cut up the trains and I separated them into piles so it will be easier to grab which color I'm looking for. If they're all mixed together, that's a lot of sorting. I can also just limit this to the two colors that we're working with. The easiest train to start with is going to be an AB pattern, which is just an every other color change. So this one's red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. So see if you can start with a train that just has two colors and they alternate. And you can move on to some of the harder ones um, after you master the easier ones. So I would have this already set up with the match, same train, match the engine and the first black coal car. And then go along and you can have them put it right on top as they match or they can go underneath. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. You could also just look at this train and see what comes next. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. What comes next? Let's find our red, and then our blue, and then red, and then blue. So you can just build on to the back of your train as well. You could have your child build a train, any colors that they choose, and then you build the same train. Have them tell you, Hmm, what color do I need next? There's another engine. I need, and I'll tell you, you need orange. Oh, okay, orange, can you hand me orange? And have them help you. Hmm, what color should I pick next? Is this right? No, that's wrong. We need yellow. And what should we do next? Blue. So they're getting practice labeling those colors as well. And then you could take a turn, you build a train and they match. So you can go off of these patterns, get a little more complicated with three in a row, yellow, blue, orange, yellow, blue, orange, or these ones that have a, B, B, A, B, B, purple, orange, orange, purple, orange, orange, and of course. As you build the trains, you're not only working with pre-reading skills as you follow along the track and copy the order. Of course, you're working with math skills as you're matching the colors and looking at the same and different you're working on your language skills, naming the colors, and of course the social emotional of taking turns with each other. Have fun. I hope you and your child enjoy your math trains.